Hey guys, welcome to CR and Designers. This is Chetan, and this is the hard surface modeling hack too. So don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. And now let's get started. So we will start with a cylinder. So shift A and then add a cylinder with a 16 volts. And then you need to scale it along the Z axis. After that, take it little bit up on the floor, and then add a cube, and then give the right position for the cube. So it will work as a cutter object. And then you need to go to the edit mode and turn on that extra mode and select these words and move them along the Z axis. And then select these words and then move them along the Y axis. Select these words and move them along the Z axis so you can create a little bit of tapper kind of shape. And now scale it along the X axis a little bit. Then you need to select the cube and then cylinder and then use the pull tool for the slice operation. Then you can delete that slicer part and now you will get this kind of shape. And then you need to add the subdivision surface modifier on it. So you can see we are getting the weird result because there is not right topology. So we need to create a right topology. So select everything and press M merge by distance. So double words will get merge. Then you need to add the loop cut and then select these words, right click and then connect vertex path. And then add loop cut over here and then select these words, right click and then connect vertex path. I can use the symmetry here but it's a very small model so I can do the manually. And we need to create a loop structure around this boolean so we will get the decent look. So select these faces and press I for the insert operation so you can create one face loop structure. And then you need to add the loop cut at the center and then select these words right click and then connect to vertex path. So you can create a center edge. Then add a loop cuts like this and then just select these words right click and then connect to vertex path. Simply you need to create the topology at there. Then you need to select these words and then connect them and then select these words and then connect them and just try to maintain the core based topology and then add a loop cuts here scale it along the z axis and give the value 0 s z and then 0 then take it a little bit up and then add loop cut over here and then one more time scale it along the z axis and give the value 0 and now you need to add a few more loop cuts so you will get a decent look on the model and decent shading. And then you can turn on your subdivision surface modifier and just increase its count. View level viewport. Then you can see the wireframe and shade smooth it. You can see we got a decent look on the model. If it's necessary, then you can increase the sub D count. And now you can see the model looks decent. So thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit the like button and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye bye. See so you in the next video. Take care.